all right what is going on YouTube this is Jason and right now I got a tutorial for you on how to use my 3d tracking templates that I've created so far and uploaded on YouTube I've probably got about five or six of them done and up on YouTube but I'm gonna sh I get this asked a lot and it's in the comment section a lot that they don't people don't know how to use these or they can't get them to work right but I'm gonna cover that right now and show you how to fix everything but in all of the old 3D tracking templates that I've done, there is a text folder in there, and it has the. If you follow those instructions exactly, it will work. But um, let's go ahead and jump into this. This is the next 3D track I'm gonna upload, and in my 3D tracks, this is what comes with them. You got the original image sequence already rendered out. You got the Bougie project and the Cinema 4D project. Alright, the first way you want to go about this is you want to open up the Buju project. Now really once you open this up, all you got to do is save a few things and then close it and go to Cinema 4D. So, uh, I mean, yeah guys, if you just follow along, this is very simple and easy to do and you can just have a nice intro for any video or whatever you want to use it for, but... And for some reason it didn't open up the project, so I'm going to go back to that folder and open it again. And this is the 3D track. Everything's done. You don't need to change anything. You just need to go to export at the top. Click camera solve. And you want to change the export type to Cinema 4D. And you want to make sure you scale scene by 100. And you want to browse and save that to somewhere that you know where to be at. Now you really only want to save the project that's if you're going to redo it in Cinema 4D but if you don't want to use that you can use the Cinema 4D project that I put in there. In that case you just need to export the AVI file, the sequence and save that to your desktop somewhere where you know it's at and then close Buju. <coughs> now I'm going to open up the Cinema 4D project that I've already created. You know the text, the background, and everything's already set up. But you know, you can just export your own project in Buju and create your own thing here if you want to do it that way. But um, this is the Cinema 4D project. This is what it looked like once you open it. You notice it has no background on it and you can't see nothing, right? But what you need to do with that is the two files the AVI file you just rendered, which is a huge file. All you need to do is come down here to materials add file new material click double click that material and you want to change you want to go to texture right here load image and you select that AVI file that you just um, saved from Buju. click OK and it a pop-up may pop up if anything pops up just hit no and make sure you uncheck specular just in case and now you need to do that for the background and the floor because these two files right here are the same file. And once you do that, you know, your background will appear in the background and you can render it out. And anything else on um, the text is right here. You know, you just go to the text, change it. You can move it, tweak it, whatever you want to do to it. Also, all these materials here are in the folder, which I've compiled these over the years from multiple people on YouTube thanks to them for that let me show you real quick render settings make sure you always um well never mind go to output first um your first settings should be 1280 by 720 frame rate 30 and you want to select your frames you know you can go to all frames or you can select a custom frame to render out make sure you select save select the save location for your file and select your format you can do QuickTime movie or AVI I usually do QuickTime exit that and then click right here and it'll render out and you got your 3d track that's ready to go for your video and also another thing that file once you render them out cinema 40 is pretty huge like an eight second clip of you know a 3d track it'll probably be about one gig so you know you want to open that up in something like Vegas maybe and re-render it as an MP4 or a WMV or something, or you know so the sm file size would be a lot smaller and it's you know not so much for your program to handle. But um that's it, you guys. 
that's how you use my 3D tracking tutorials. It's very easy to do. If you have any problems, hit me up. You know, leave a comment or send me a message on YouTube. I'll be more than glad to help you. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos and all my tutorials. I've got more 3D tracking come templates coming soon, montages, just tons of shit I'm working on right now. If you want to like the video, I'm out later. Thank you right now for watching my previous video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook where I will keep you updated on my upcoming videos and what's happening with me, including Team SCG. This is